Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to infer whether the Marcus was dead or not using predicate logic in artificial intelligence. This is the solved example number two. The link for other examples is given in the description below. These are the nine facts or the statements uh, given to us. Now we need to prove or we need to check whether the Marcus was dead or not using these particular facts or the sentences here. Now if you want to check whether Marcus was dead or not, first we need to convert these particular facts or sentences into logical statements and then we need to check whether the Marcus was dead or not. Now how to convert these particular facts or sentences into the logical statements is already discussed. The link for that video is given in the description below. Now once you convert these particular facts into logical statements, this is how those uh, logical statements looks like. Now I will start with the empty proposition. So that's the reason I will write uh, nil here. Next uh, we want to prove or we want to check whether that particular person is uh, uh, alive or not. So the only option what we have over here is in the ninth one we have alive and at the same time if he is not alive there is a possibility that the person is dead over here. So that's the tenth one we have dead over here. So we can use this particular statement. So in this statement what we have here. If you prove that uh, the x is died at time t1 and t2 is greater than t2, you can say that uh, this particular person is uh, died at t2. So t2 should be what? t2 should be now because we want to prove that the particular person is not alive now over here. So that's the reason what we do over here is so we will take the use of this particular statement that is gt t2 minus t1. So what is the t2 I will take? The 1991 because 1991 is now that's a current year comma t1 t1 i will consider it as 79 over here so definitely 1991 is greater than uh, 79 so this is a valid statement over here now uh, gt 1991 comma 79 can be converted into something like this one gt now comma 79 because 1991 is nothing but what now over here so now is greater than the 79 over here now only thing what we need to prove over here is we got what gt uh, now comma 79 79 is nothing but what t1 over here so we need to prove that the particular person was died at time t1 that is nothing but 79 so how can you prove that particular thing with the help of fifth statement over here so what we can do over here is uh, we will take this particular second statement and what is the second statement says or a second logical statement Ma uh, pompeian marcus over here so that's perfectly fine because this is one uh, valid proposition so I will take that particular proposition over here now uh, if you look at this particular statement what it says is pomp uh, Marcus is a Pompeian that's a Marcus is a Pompeian what is the possibility if X is a Pompeian the X has died in uh, 79 if Marcus is a Pompeian the Marcus is died at 79 over here so what we can write died Marcus comma 79 so that is how we can write it with the help of fifth statement but uh, here also we have uh, Marcus comma 79 here also now comma 79 is there so 79 can be replaced with T1 over here it will become something like this died Marcus comma T1 that is uh, because Pompeian uh, Marcus is a Pompeian the Marcus has died in 79 so that's the reason we can write uh, died Marcus 79 here also we have 79 so that's the reason I have replaced this thing with T1 over here now if you look at this particular statement what it says the marcus has died at time t1 and now is greater than t1 so what is the meaning of this one because he has died at time t1 and current time is greater than t1 the meaning is this particular person is died at current time over here so that's the reason you can write it something like this one dead marcus comma now again one more time i will try to explain because marcus has died at time t1 and the current time is greater than t1 you can say that using this particular statement the person is died at t2 also that is nothing but t2 is not in this case now over here so that is what i have written in this case if marcus is uh, dead current at time now the meaning is what if he is dead at this particular point of time he is not alive at this particular point of time that is what we can write with the help of ninth proposition that is not alive marcus now over here so what is the final statement we can say was marcus dead yes marcus is dead at this particular point of time over here 
this is a very simple process you need to follow to uh, check whether the given statement is uh, true or false uh, i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching